Please turn off all cell phones if you have not already done so. Please stand and greet your neighbor. Good evening. Good evening. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us bring to our mind our sins and ask God mercy and forgiveness so that we may become worthy to offer this sacrifice. I confess to Almighty God and to, to you, you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters. sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my, and in my words, words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous, grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. Glory to God in the Lord highest and on earth. And on earth.
let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the, the blind be open, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steep. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothing comes into your assembly, and a poor person in shabby clothing also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes, and say, sit here please, while you say to the poor one, stand there or sit at my feet, have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters, did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Again, Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hands on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd, put his finger into, his, into the man's ears, and spitting, touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, If Phaeda, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear, and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, how often do you listen to the word of God? How often? Never? Once a year? Once in six months? You can raise your hands if we, when, whenever I say the right answer for you, okay? <laughs> once in a month? Once every weekend? Every day? Wonderful. Now, how often do you speak to others about God or your faith? Never? Once a year? Twice a year? Once every six months? Every month? Every weekend? Every day? Why well, some people, they, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. But today, Prophet Isaiah, his prophecy is all about Messiah. Messiah is coming. And in Messiah, whatever that is humanly impossible is going to be possible. Like, the blind is going to see, the mute is going to speak, the deaf is going to hear, the lame is going to jump like a stag. In the desert, there's going to be springs of water, and not only just springs, but it's going to be lakes and rivers. New age, restoration, it's all humanly impossible to even comprehend. But for God, it is possible in Messiah, it's going to happen. And Jesus, that's what happens in the gospel passage. He finds this blind and mute man. He touches him and he is healed. The blind is seeing. The deaf is hearing. I don't know if you notice that we have the same ritual, a father. No, but before that, we have the Bible, of course, the Bible, the New Testament was written mainly in Greek. But Ephatha is actually an Aramaic word, the language that Jesus actually spoke. So that word is kept. That's the original word that Jesus spoke, Ephatha. In our baptism, for the children, after the baptism, we have uh, this optional ritual of Ephatha, where the priest or the deacon would touch the uh, lips and the ears of the child and say these same words. May God open the word of God to you and give you the strength to proclaim his faith. For the others, actually, it happens before the actual baptismal rite. So this reward actually is all about for us. 
If you are baptized, that means you went through this ritual of Ephatha. Jesus opened your ears to hear his word. And he also opened your mouth to proclaim his faith. <coughs> Not just once in a year or some time, but every day. All the time. And what happens if you listen to him and if you speak about him, what happens? Whatever Isaiah prophesies will happen in you and through you. Why? Because you are announcing the work of the Messiah through your words and deeds. So if you are careful, if we are careful, and if we listen to him properly, and if we talk about him where we are, we will see, we will begin to see the blind see. Spiritually blind will begin to see the wonders of God. The mute begin to speak. Those who don't want to speak, say what about God or good are going to speak. The deaf is going to begin to hear. That's what you think is impossible. Nothing can happen here. The desert. You will see springs in the desert. Because we are the representatives of that Messiah in this place, in this time. Jesus needs us so that his mission may accomplished in our place. So it becomes our responsibility that we listen to him and we speak what we hear from him so that his mission, the mission of every Christian may work in our midst. The Messiah is there. He is in us. And because we don't listen to him, we don't speak about him, all that, all those miracles are not taking place in our midst. We can make that change happen. We can make Messiah do miracles among us. Let us proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, for all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten or made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made for us men, for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. They look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. We thank Almighty God for saving us in Jesus Christ. May we ask Him to give us the grace so that we may continue to see Jesus in others. For Pope Francis and all bishops, may God.
God bless them with unity and fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, oh, hear our prayers. For the whole world, may the peace given by Christ come to rest on all nations and people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. For all those who need physical, emotional, or spiritual healing, may God extend his hand to them and make them well. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. For our community of faith, may the Lord shower us with grace and listen to and do his will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. For relief agencies, religious organizations, first responders and emergency groups, as they tend to the needs of all affected by hurricane <coughs> life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For a greater appreciation for the gift of friendship that bonds of friendship may be strengthened, our resolve to be people of communion in divisive times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. That the continued generosity of our community may assist those who are in most need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayers. For those who have died this day, may God welcome them into his eternal peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For the intentions of this Mass, which are for the repose of the soul of Charles and Jean Finley, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Let us offer our own prayers. We fly to thy protection. O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Bless our Lord God of creation for the very goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, for the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless our Lord God of creation for the very goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, for the wine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and the good of all of His holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the second mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy. You are indeed holy alone, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Sean our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints of pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever at the savior's command and for by divine teaching we are there to say Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant that you faithful, O Lord, who may nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Well, this Tuesday Mass will be uh, in the morning at 8 a.m., not in the evening, but in the morning at 8 a.m. We will do the commissioning and recommissioning of our Eucharistic ministers next weekend uh, during all the Masses. See in the bulletin, uh, sign up for Christmas decorations. Now it's time to celebrate uh, the 71st wedding anniversary of A.B. and Virginia Kelly. <laughs> yeah, it's all about you too. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I don't think if they... I think I would just come to them. I don't think they hear me. Yeah, don't worry about your hearing, okay? That's why I came all the way. So is it your uh, 71st wedding anniversary? Yes. yes. It is. I can't hear. 
Now you can hear me? No. Okay, that's wonderful. That's why I thought I will come all the way here. Yeah, wonderful. So, how are you? Good? 100%. Yeah, so he's happy, you know? You've been out 71 years. That's wonderful. Huh? Oh, she's good to you. What about you? He's very good to you too. Okay, that's a great deal, you know. Yeah. Both ways. So you are good to him and he is good to you. I think they all should learn from you, right? Yeah, I don't know how many of them are really good to each other. Hopefully they are all. Right? So we are going to say a small prayer for you. And I request all of them to raise their hands over you. Lord and Creator, we bless and praise your name. In the beginning you made man and woman so that they might enter a community of life and love. You likewise bless the union of A.B. and Virginia so that they might reflect the union of Christ with his church. Look with kindness on them today. Amid the joys and struggles of their life, you have preserved the union between them. Renew their marriage covenant. Increase your love in them and strengthen their bond of peace so that, surrounded by their children, they may always rejoice in the gift of your blessing. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. So, this is one of our sons and this is one of our sons. Oh, okay. That's great. And those two are their wives, right? Yes. Yeah. So they are kind of daughters too, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, you know, filling the blanks, okay? <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. So, thank you for coming to church. What? Thank you for coming to church this evening. Oh, thank you. So that we could all celebrate with you, right? Thank you for your blessing. No problem. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify you, Lord, by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, nor the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.